Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Welcome back to my channel. So in this quick little bites video, I'm going to be showing you guys and lasses how to make a simple, cheap and effective camping or bushcraft campfire grill or griddle. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So for this quick little project, all we're going to need is very basic minimal items and they are four good length aluminium tent pegs, nothing flash or fancy, very cheap and no doubt you guys and lasses will have a whole plethora of different types of these within your various kits. If not, they're very cheap. You can buy 50 of these from eBay for a couple of quid. You know, they're not expensive. Um, I do recommend getting the long reach ones for this project because of the nature of what we're going to be using it for. Then we're going to need the actual griddle itself. In this case, I got this from eBay. I'll put a bit of a, um, a screenshot in in a moment. Um, just a stainless steel. I think this is actually a cake cooling um, tray. It's only lightweight, it's only light duty, but again, cheap and cheerful. This was about £2.95 with free P&P. But it's the ideal size to go in a backpack, light enough to carry and big enough to put most pots and pans on. And lastly, we'll need a pair of pliers. It's that simple. So let's crack on. OK, so all we're going to do is dead simple is we're going to take our tent pegs and to start with. We're going to take our pliers and on the hooped end, we're just going to close the gap down a little ways just larger than the diameter of the wire on the griddle so we're just going to crush that down a little ways just like so i'm going to do that on all four like i say this is a real simple easy project and basically it's a, a budget saving sort of um what would you call it makeshift project for if you haven't got a massive budget and you still want to get outside and enjoy the outdoors just to show we don't have to spend a fortune to enjoy this hobby of ours it can be done cheaply and then we're going to take our griddle and we're just simply going to crimp equally obviously in the same place in four quadrants and we're just going to crimp those on basically using the same pair of pliers because it's aluminium it folds easily and it bites in nice and tight so it's not going to go anywhere but it's still got enough room to fold and flop about as it were so that's one leg done so you can see where i'm going with this so obviously now i'll do the same on the opposite quadrant the opposite corner in effect you could do this in a tripod configuration if you so choose to do so I'm using four because everything is light duty and this way it just gives it a little bit more strength and stability. That's the only reason why. Same again on the opposite corner this time. Just pinch that aluminium tent peg together, crush it up there with your pliers or whatever you've got to hand. Nice and easy. And the last one. In the same in the same area crush that together you can use a vice if you've got one and basically now we've got four legs attached which as you can see once we've pushed them into the soil obviously it's precarious on the bench but once we've equally spaced that out pushed it into the soil we've got our basic griddle so let's get out into the yard get a little fire pit fired up and uh, let's try it out
Beautiful. So I've got enough water in there to do a cup and a half. I mean like a, maybe a mug and a half. So fair old weight in there. Enough to do two cups of coffee. Um, so this takes the weight very easy as you can see. And as you can see from the soil that I've dug out of this fire pit, it is quite moist and soft. And it's supporting that weight no problem at all. So you could cook an MRE very easily on this setup. It would support the weight of a bigger pot or two or three smaller pots for, you know, a weekend away. Absolutely, why not? You know, it's cheap and cheerful. It's light, stainless steel and aluminium, so it shouldn't rot or rust. As you can probably hear, it's starting to rain on me now, but uh, if it ain't raining, you ain't training. Getting the job done. Yeah. Cheers everybody. Mm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Rain and the wind's closing in, so back into the garage. Quick wash up. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. Welcome back. So we're back inside the garage out of the rain. I've got me a good hot cup of joe on. Mm. And much needed. So going back to the little griddle or grill, folding grill setup. Um it does work, it's effective. I believe this cost me all in. If you want to look at a price point, like I say, the griddle was £2.95 and four temp pegs, 50p a pound. So less than a fiver, five pounds UK sterling. You've got yourself a pack size, lightweight folding grill, which you can put together in a matter of seconds, let alone minutes, with a simple pair of pliers or grips or whatever the hell you have. And as you can see, a bit sooty now, it works a treat and on a footnote the small lugs or lobes where it would have been used originally to stand on a work surface while your cakes or your you know your muffins cool um, a little standoff area the little loops or lugs there incidentally form perfect retaining points for those temp pegs so purely by accident you can fold your temp pegs down and catch them within them loops. So making it further more packable, that's a word, <laughs> makes it more space convenient. And um, all you've got to do is bend them bad boys out. And um, drop the legs down, stick them in the ground and you're ready to go again. If however, you're in a hard ground surface area, um, you can actually easily reopen those loops, bend them out, take the pegs off and actually just put the griddle in the coals itself or just simply turn it upside down, fold the legs out laterally, keep them attached and just put this in the coals and use it just as a as a grill to put your steak or your meat on and um, you're good to go. It's a versatile bit of kit, very cheap, easily made. Why not? <laughs> Top little tip from the Mad Dog. Hope you find it useful, if not entertaining. Until next time, which won't be long, take care of each other. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all soon. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah!